for Blur. She redeemed it. If you don't know, me and Bridge39 were kind of married via Walmart, so it happens. So this one time... So one time... Um, we No, I can't. So one time we were bored. We, we were bored and we said, um, hey, let's have a competition. I said, well, what's the competition, Bridge? She said, let's see who can steal the most from Walmart. I said, okay, what are the terms? She's like, highest dollar amount wins. I said, okay, that's easy. No problem. I was like, per item little... or all together? All together. All together, she said. I was like, okay, cool, cool. We can do this. So, uh, you know, we crack a couple PBRs before we go on our little adventure, and um, <laughs> that is illegal. Quiet, Jedi. And so um, we we go out to Walmart. We go out to Walmart, and we go our separate ways. Crack and... the PBRs and then drive to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, crap. <laughs> just drive to Walmart. So we do that, and um, you know, we go our separate ways. I'm, I'm stuffing, like, everything I can in my pants, right, you know? And I mean, I'm, I'm like literally, it's in my pants. I'm it, like, it's clearly obvious that I'm stealing. And guys, this is for a disclaimer. These are fake stories. These are fake stories. What were you stealing? Uh, I stole a TV, an Xbox. Um, in your pants? Yeah, in my pants. Yeah. Two to yeah. the right. Whole ass TV. Yeah, whole ass TV. Twenty-seven inch in my pants. And um. <laughs> Same. So so <laughs> we we get home and we're like, all right, start comparing. So I pull up my like three or four items that I stole. Right, bridge. Bridge freaking just took her an hour to unload everything and I'm just looking at her like where where did you store all this? And she's like prison purse. And I was like, oh damn. Oh damn. So oh, Bridge damn. won. She she stole uh three thousand dollars worth of merchandise. I stole 127 and I had to be her servant for two weeks. So that was not good. She drank all my PBR. You know, bridge and I. We what you call Walmart lovers. Been together since uh, 69. Uh, we're in Walmart one time, and uh, true story, true story. I got my best wife beating around, my holy jeans, a little bit greasy. You know, I got smudge all over my face. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And we're out there shopping, and, uh, you know, it's, of course, another beer run. It's another beer run. And, uh, you know, this girl, this girl comes up and starts hitting on Bridge. Her name was Blur. And I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Blur is not hitting on my boo, especially my Walmart boo. So you know what I did? You know what I did? You might get you guys wonder what I did. I got some spray paint. I sprayed it all over her. And then I got uh, Bridges bat, and I took them knees out. And then uh, unfortunately, she called the cops on me, so I had to go to jail. Apparently, you can't do that to somebody, even though they make passes at your girl. So I went to jail. Uh, Bridge had to use our PBR money to get me out. Yes. So B Bridge had to use our PBR money to bail me out, and it was it was awful. It was awful. Yep. Yep. Gil, this is a story about Bridge all ice cream. It was uh, it was a hot summer day, had to be a nice seventy degrees outside. Very hot, very hot. Why is it always me? Because uh, you do shit. Listen, listen, boo. We've been over this. Anyways, so we're in the we're in the frozen section. We're arguing about who's gonna do it. And anyways, it ends up being Bridge. That's gonna steal the ice cream. Too not what I wanted. So we're in the frozen aisle. I'm sitting there drinking a PBR, and she's trying to pick out which ice cream she wants. Uh, it took me, I went through about three or four beers before she finally settled on an ice cream. And I said, all right, well, how are you going to do this? And she had forgotten her purse. I do shit as well. I can't load up. So I just finally, I just grabbed one. I just grabbed one. And uh, she she stashed it. I'm not going to say where she stashed it, but she stashed it. It was a pretty good hiding place, I think. And, you know, we paid for the case of PB bar we came for because I drank it in the store. And on the way out, uh, we got stopped, right? We got stopped. We're like, eh, you know, we need to check your receipts. I said, uh, we, we don't need to check our receipts. You know, I'm just trying to play it off. and Because I know Bridge has got the, the ice cream hidden somewhere. I just don't know where. Anyways, uh, it gets to the point where it looks like we're not going to be able to get out of this situation. So what does she do? She pulls out the ice cream. It's fully melted. And shoves it in my face and takes off running. And then guess who gets arrested? I get arrested. Now you see. Now you see, guys. When Bridge and I go to Walmart, we always have a specific list. You got a specific list, right? Right. So we're in there shopping one day, and just like every item we wanted was out of stock because of what's going on right now. And, you know, Bridge was getting pretty upset. Bridge was getting pretty upset. You could see the hate and the and the, the flame start to fester from her. Kind of like, like this. Kind of like this guy here. And eventually she got really cranky. And someone told her to bug off or something. Next you know, here comes the bat. She's smacking everybody in sight. Workers, kids, doesn't matter. They're not safe in the raft. I'm just sitting back thinking, what can I do for my girl? What can I do for my girl? So, you know what I did? I pulled out an emergency PBR. I cracked it. And I poured it all over. She calmed down right away. It was great. We had cake afterwards. After I bonded her out for the eighth time that month. So, there we were in the back aisle of the freezer section, right? 
and uh, I'm bending over to get in the freezer. And, and the item we wanted was in the very bag. It was in the very bag. I think it was like a uh, hungry man steak dinner or something like that. So I'm just back in that freezer. I'm digging it out, trying to find the one I want. And uh, next thing I feel my, my back here get a little drafty, right? Right. Well, Bridge here thought it'd be funny to take the uh, the firecracker popsicles and uh, see if she could get into the red zone. Um, she got all the way to the wood zone. And uh, the long story short is uh, that was not a fun doctor visit to have that removed um, from that area. It was very painful. There's many splinters, uh, but she thought it was hilarious. She left the bound for like six days. Um, <clears throat> there we are, deli section of Walmart. <clears throat> jelly section. Deli section. Jelly section. <laughs> the deli section. I uh, I'm really hungry. We've been there for two hours shopping. Wife can't make up her mind. It's like whatever, fine. I was like, I need something to eat. And I shit you not, Bridge opens up her bag and she's like, here, eat this. I said, okay, cool. I saw I ate the food. She had chicken wings, potato salad, really good stuff. So I ate it. I ate in the store. So it was no big deal. We go to leave. Lost prevention stops me. And they're like, sir, uh, you need to pay for what you stole. I said, wait, what? Wait, wait, what do you mean pay for what I stole? The food you ate, sir, it was stolen. Damn, past 34 hours in Canada. 34 hours, dang. I said, it's not stolen. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it was stolen. So next thing you know, freaking police get called. Little did I know, Bridge stole the stuff, gave it to me to eat, and it was a prank. She thought it'd be funny if I get to my 79th uh, retail fraud. She thought it was funny. She thought it was funny. Just a prank, bro? Just, just a prank. She pranked me by going to jail. True stories of Walmart. So, <clears throat> there we were one day in Walmart, just walking around. Got a PBR in my hand, got a donut in the other hand from the uh, bakery section. And uh, I know this bridge just ran off out of nowhere. And I'm like, okay, well, she must have gone and went to uh, finish the shopping. About an hour, hour and a half passes by. I don't know. I've had so many beers. All of a sudden, I hear uh, tats to the front desk. Tats to the front desk. And I'm thinking, well, shit, I haven't stolen anything yet. So what could they be calling me for? So I take my nice leisurely time. I meander through the store to get to the front desk. And uh, you guys, I can't even believe this. I get to the service desk, right? I don't know what they want. So I get there. I it, like It's like... The service desk is like an end cave, like you gotta walk into it. So I turn the corner, and there's Bridge. Two sheets of the wind in a cart. Absolutely wasted. And I said, well, how did this happen? They said they found her in the alcohol section, uh, buried in the cooler, drinking PBRs, uh, and doing keg stands. Uh, so I had to wheel her out in a cart. I get her out to the, the car, and she just vomits everywhere, and it's it just awful. It was just awful. And then uh, Bridge was banned for about two months after that incident. Apparently, you can't be getting drunk at a Walmart like that or doing keg stands in the freezer section. So that's a true story of Walmart. Thank you for listening. This is True Stories of Walmart between Bridge39 and Igon's Tats. So before we go into the store, uh, we were going on our weekly shopping trip. And uh, typically before we go, we always down a couple PBRs because you got you can't we can't go shopping unless we're just a little bit tipsy. So uh, I said to the bridge, hey, give me some beers out of the cooler. And so she's driving. I'm having a few on the way there. And um, we get there and I, I start feeling really weird. I'm like, I only had like six. Normally it takes about 20 before I get really wasted. And we're walking in. I'm losing my balance. I don't know what's going on. Uh... I, I, I hear, I think I would hear Bridges giggling and I don't understand. I'm like, why is she giggling? And we're nearing the, the, the supplies and we get to the party aisle and I, I, I don't know why, but I got really hot. And so I took all my clothes off. Uh, I grabbed the nearest party favors and I put the little those pointy hats on and I stripped down to my birthday suit and I started running around Walmart saying, I'm Ricky Bobby, I'm Ricky Bobby. And next thing I have Bridge running, I guess Bridge was running behind me the whole time, videotaping everything because she thought this would be uh, a good way to get some quick viral money. Um, instead, I got arrested for uh, indecent exposure inside of Walmart. And that was, that was very awkward. Very hard to explain that one. So um, that was a true story of Walmart. Thank you. All right. This is true stories of Walmart between Bridge 39 and I Got's Tats. So typically when we're really bored at Walmart and we're shopping, what we like to do is like to play a little game. We like to say, who can shout a certain word the loudest? Well, today's words were um, pumpernickel and um, penis. Pumpernickel and penis. Of course, I have to shout penis and she gets pumpernickel because, you know, ladies get that. So we're just walking through the store and just randomly we're shouting pumpernickel and penis. And it's just, it's just, no one's really, we get, we get a couple looks. We get a couple looks. And I, I was like, I kept getting louder and louder because I knew I was going to win. Well, Bridge at the top of her lungs, right at Jackie, goes, Pumpernickel penis. 
And everybody just stops and looks at her. And while that's going on, I just slowly slip out with the groceries without paying. And it was freaking phenomenal because guess who got busted? She did. But I had to bound her out right after. So that, that kind of sucked.